Alright, good day everyone. Uh, one little project that I had in mind a few, uh, couple of weeks ago, and uh, it was using a, a tiny for driving lots of LEDs. And I saw, I got that idea out of uh, one guy, he made a little game using, I think it was 12 LEDs, and he called that the ladder game. But that was kind of boring, and so I decided to make myself a uh, VU meter, but as you can see, there's only six LEDs, but uh, these LEDs are actually bicolor LEDs, so uh, they, uh, they each have a red and a green LED in one. And you're going to say something's wrong in here because the uh, tiny has only eight pin, which uh, three of them are unusable for uh, driving LEDs because the, there's one pin for the VCC, which is the plus, one for the ground, and one for the reset. Well, the other ones are output, and I'm only using four output, and I saw the method of driving LEDs like that. It's called Charlie Plexing, and well, it works. I can't say it's the best way to drive multiple LEDs, as if you want to light more than one, it actually uh, get, gets a little uh, uh, dim. But for driving one, two, or even six LEDs, it's actually quite nice. And schematics, well, I have this schematics right, right here, which is actually uh, the Atini itself. As you see, that's output zero. And then the only thing I did is I kind of reverse uh, the complete schematic in the order. It doesn't really matter the way you hook these up as long as you remember and uh, in your program you actually tells uh, which which one uh, to uh, which one you decide which one is one then two then three then four. So here is actually what ooh, nice reflection in here. This is actually uh, how I did mine output zero and then I go one two, three, four, five, six, and then the red is actually seven, eight, nine, ten, to up to twelve. And uh, we can't really see well in here. Let's see if I can focus. Anyway, uh, each resistor are 100 ohm, and so far I never had any problem. And I think it's a little overkill for for five volts. It gives me, uh, I think, 15 milliamps for driving each LEDs. But it's not the light output that I'm looking for, it's just the effect. And uh, so this is the schematic it's, uh, itself. Uh, I found it on off uh, internet. I was I had no idea, no clue where to start. And uh, that was actually very helpful for me. And well, of course, the code can be available if you ask for it. There's no problem with that. And uh, you may notice that here I got all bunch of pins. Well, this actually because uh, those pin here, uh, one is the reset, and the other three are actually the data for uh, programming the chip. And in here I got uh, I don't remember. Oh, yeah, I got my five volt. Well, technically two point two to five. I think it's five 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 point five volts maximum that the chip can handle. Then I have my ground. And this one is actually the uh, input, analog input number four, which I use for two purposes. One is actually to get the uh, VU meter uh, moving, and the other one is there's a switch, because I thought it might be cool to try adding a uh, function to a uh, different type of VU meter, etc. So it was my... Uh, a little challenge to see if I could fit both of them uh, on the same input and it actually works quite well I have my breadboard here already ready and I have a little microphone uh, Electra microphone with little preamp set up so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hook it up if I can get the pin order right and as you can see the green LEDs is actually up and if I tap on the microphone you see it moving and I add the little function teller 
The, this one is actually the first function and it goes to the second one, the third one, the fourth and it comes back. This one is kind of the same but instead of uh, having just one LED they're all light up and these two are supposed to be orange and then red but well oops I actually skipped the function here this one is just uh, it have no it was just for demonstration purposes this is the third one same uh, same color as the uh, second one but only one LEDs light up and that's the, the basic one but of course it's no fun watching it with no music so I have my little speaker very close to the microphone because I still need to uh, amplify the signal a little bit so it may distortion in the camera but uh, at least you'll get the idea so uh, lower your volume if you actually have it high so you won't uh, damage your ear or wake up the neighbor Well, hope you like it, and uh, thanks for watching.